Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Blizzard Battles on the channel. Hope you guys are all in fantastic day as usual. So we're going to hop into a game with White Opossum. Um, I've played with this person before. This is actually my, my little brother. Um, I've played with him before. Um, but for some reason, like, so we played two best of threes before. But um, nearly every game, um, like halfway through, it said connection broken. I think I, I um, was recording three of them, three like different ones in a row, and each one uh, said connection broken halfway through the video. So, yeah. And then uh, I was going to go upload, well, I didn't want to upload the, the last one by itself because um, it's just one by itself, so it's not a best of three. So we just did an entirely new best of three. Um, this first game was a R3 Bonanza. Uh, because he does not have all the towers upgrades, or the upgrades for all the towers unlocked yet. But if you do R3, you automatically get all the upgrades for the three towers that you get. So we decided to do R3 Bonanza. We played a best of three after this. Um, so I'm going to have the best of three um, in tomorrow's episode. It'll be about nine minutes. One game was like three minutes and one game was six. So I'll have that in tomorrow's episode to make a nine minute episode. Because uh, if I add it into today's episode... Um, it'd be, I mean, it's not a problem to have, like, a 21-minute video, um, but I didn't want, like, I think I've done it before to where I've done, um, like, a micro-challenge and a best of three in the same video, um, but since it's so close to 15 minutes, I thought I would just, or since this video is so close to 15 minutes, I thought I would just take this video, put it, um, in one video, and then take that and put it in one video, um, because... That, that's what I should probably what I was thinking about start doing from now on. Um, I think I did it once in the past where I kind of mixed the best of three with another game, just for time uh, purposes, uh, just because it matched up. But I'm gonna try and kind of match it up the best, um, match it up the best I can, uh, like the the closest. So if it's like 13 minutes, um, I'll have that as an episode, then a nine minute episode. I was thinking about putting it as like a 21 minute episode, but it was so close to the to the like the average the usual time I like to keep an episode around because um, I've actually gotten people asking like for around 15 minutes or so so around 15 minutes would be a good place um, for this episode then I'll just have that one tomorrow um, so it's kind of uh, separate in its own thing so because I know in the past which I've done that has been confusing uh, it, it confused me in the past um, when I did a micro challenge and then another game in the same episode. So um, I'm not going to do that anymore. So yeah, that's uh, kind of what I was thinking about. Um, I apologize to. I'm not sure whoever like uh, I played with where I did the micro challenge and then the best of three in the same episode. I apologize for that. Um, I apologize for that episode in general um, to the person I was playing with and to everyone because it can. I got confused from it, and I know it was probably. Um, I hope it wasn't confusing, but if it was, I apologize. So yeah, let's hop right into it. So White Opossum is pretty new to the game. Um, he actually he he doesn't play very often because his computer like has this connection problem with the internet, so he keeps disconnecting from the internet and stuff, which is preventing him from playing the game. Um, so basically, yeah. Which is also why he doesn't have all the towers upgraded yet, or all the upgrades of towers yet. But my basic plan for this, uh, for my defense, was um, Super Monkey just spam dar trip darts and then have up those uh, juggernauts for ceramics. So basically, what I would do is I would um, I'd have these dark monkeys. I would have I would get up Super Monkey fan clubs. So if I got sent Moab, it'd be easy to take out with Super Monkey fan club. BFB, same with that. Easy to take out with Super Monkey Fan Club. Um, and then, with Zone My God, since we have aces, I was gonna. my plan was to get up a GZ, um, or more than one GZ, which is what I should have done. But, I had up one GZ at a time, um, and then I would just Super Monkey Fan Club to get the Zone My God down to uh, Moabs, and then GZ it. So that was kind of the basic plan for this uh, episode. Um, or this game, I should say. So yeah, um, that's pretty much. He was actually. So also like, um, I've been teaching him a lot of things 
uh, in this game. Um, or th at least the stuff I know, because uh, I don't want to teach them stuff I don't know. Um, basically, I was I was uh, teaching them like ecoing and stuff. Like if you eco, or if you go eco, you want to eco like as much as you want, or not as much as you want, as much as you can, um, while also keeping a defense that can um, actually defend what the balloons are that are coming. As well as making sure uh, you have the proper defense for any balloons that you think could uh, come your way so that you could take them out. So one mistake, um, actually I'm not going to, I was going to say like one mistake he made, but I've actually made this mistake, mistake before uh, where you have multiple Super Monkey Fan Clubs close together. And uh, basically like the reason um, I did that before was because I thought that you can just keep repeatedly using Super Monkey fan clubs, and then it would ch change all of them into Super Monkeys. What I didn't know was that a Super Monkey fan club cannot turn into a Super Monkey. Like, so if you're trying to, if you have two Super Monkey fan clubs next to each other, and then you turn one into a Super Monkey fan club, it's not going to turn the other one to a Super Monkey. So you can't like change a Super Monkey fan club to a Super Monkey, if, if that makes sense. But like, that's why I only had two, so I could change all those trip darts into super monkeys so that was my basic plan with um, or that was my basic uh, thing that I was kinda helping him with um, because I don't I will admit I don't know that much in this game but what I do know I will be happy to share my wisdom um, about uh, so yeah that's basically I try to help like as much as I can um, so yeah and it's not I don't just help him because he's my brother. I help, or I try to help everyone where I can. So, like, if you guys have questions, uh, I'll do my best to answer them based on my knowledge of the game. Um, so, I just wanted to make sure it's not, it's, I don't just help uh, White Opossum because he's my brother. Um, I try to help everyone. So, if you guys have questions uh, that you think I could answer, um, I'll do my best to. Um, or if you don't think I can answer them, I'll do my best to answer them still. Um, so yeah, that's uh, kind of what I wanted to say as well. Um, I think I've already said this, but I'm having an absolute blast in uh, Ring of Elysium. Um, I do play Fortnite, but as I said before, Fortnite's like that game I kind of just want to get into to kind of mess around. Because um, like, I don't want to say it's the game I have fun in, because then, cause I don't just play Ring of Elysium to not have fun. I don't just play Ring of Elysium to like do well. I, I do have a lot of fun in Ring of Elysium. Um, but I like to kind of alter games um, between like Fortnite and Ring of Elysium. And I do play this game as well, but the only time I pretty much ever play this game is when I'm playing with you guys, um, which is perfectly fine. Which I kind of, I, I also wanted to make Fortnite a game that I, I play with you guys. Um, because neither BC Battles or neither Balloon City Battles or Fortnite are my main games. Um, Ring of Elysium, I would say, is my main game, and then Fortnite and Ring of Elysium are games I just kind of, I don't want to say I miss around, because I still want to get better at them, but, um, I like to have kind of one game that I focus on at one time, because I feel like if I play other games, uh, while I'm playing that game, I feel like when I'm playing that other game, then I'm going to be getting worse at the, the, uh, other game, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of why I try to focus on one main game. Uh, at each time. Now I still want to get better at like at uh, BT Battles and um, Fortnite, but the problem that like I had with Fortnite, which is the reason I kind of have this problem where I want to play one specific game, is because when For Fortnite first came out, I played it a couple months after it came out. I think, yeah. Um, or no, no, I didn't. I played it like a year after it came out. And uh, usually, like those first, the the first few months, or like the the beginning of when the game game comes out, is when people are learning how to play. Um, so when I joined to learn how to play, everyone else was already really good. Uh, so I didn't really stand much of a chance. I've tried to give it a chance um, by playing online on it, like for multiple hours a day, and it just wasn't happening for me. I just wasn't getting anywhere. So that's kind of why I s I don't have it as my main game that I want that I want to get better at. Um, I just kind of play it to have fun. Um, that's kind of the only. I don't want to say that's the. I would say that's like the 
major reason I play that game is to have fun. Um, now, I'm not saying I don't have fun in Balloon City Battles or Ring of Elysium, but Ring of Elysium came out a few months ago, so when I, if I start playing now, like I have been, then everyone else is kind of learning as well, so I have a chance to uh, learn, because if I wait too much longer, I feel like everyone else is already going to be learning, everything is going to be really good, and then I'm just going to kind of be stuck like I was with Fortnite. So that's why I've been playing Ring of Elysium so much lately. Um, because I feel like that could be that could become like the main thing on the channel. Um, now, obviously, it won't become the main thing if you guys would not like it to. If you guys want to keep seeing Balloon Sea Battles, I'll be happy to keep playing Balloon Sea Battles with you guys. But I don't play Balloon Sea Battles um, apart from like I only play Balloon Sea Battles when I'm playing with you guys. Which I mean, I don't have a problem with that at all. It uh, I enjoy it that way. It's kind of like my it's it's my game that. I have to play with you guys, and then Ring of Elysium is kind of the game that I play with, uh, pretty much just some other friends. Uh, I mean, if you guys want to play as well, I'd be happy to play with you on Ring of Elysium. Um, but if not, I'll probably just keep doing what I do, what I've been doing, um, playing playing Ring of Elysium uh, as like a a game that I'm kind of passionate about getting better at. Um, and I I have a I have a passion for this game in Fortnite as well. But it's not to be like the best player. In Ring of Elysium, my goal is to be well. Ob it's obviously to be like the best player I can be. But I want to be. I want to be good at that game. Um, so it's kind of why it's like my main game that I play. Um, so yeah, and this is and uh, Balloon Sea Battles is a game that I used to play as like my main game, um, but. I I've kind of I've kind of moved on to Ring of Elysium. Um so this is going to be my game that I mainly play as it has been like I may I mainly play it with you guys. Um which again it's it's not a problem or anything. Um it's perfectly fine. I love it that way. Um but this game and Fortnite will always have kind of a a special part in my heart as well as all of you do. Um so yeah. That's kind of just what I wanted to uh talk about which it's another that's another reason I like um, playing this, like by the way also this is a very great game to play with um, like I love playing with this game with you guys because I like there's such few games that are like this um, I don't know I don't know how to explain it but uh, it definitely is one of my all-time favorites as well as Fortnite and as well as Ring of Elysium. But I just kind of have different purposes for each game, if that does make sense. Hope it does. Um, but um, I asked my brother to send me a Oh My God here because I thought what I would have to do is just kind of pop up some Super Monkey Fan Clubs and get a GZ ready. What I should have done is I should have been getting multiple GZ, GZs ready um, because what I didn't realize is that the Moabs on this round did not get destroyed in one shot um, by the GZ so as you'll see very shortly that did kind of uh, catch me off guard because I get it down to BFBs and then I pop up another Super Fan Clump, I boost uh, I GZ'd for some weird reason I got it down to mobs, I GZ'd again and uh, it did not take out all the mobs one shot so that was one of, that was a major mistake I made um, but, uh, thank you, White Opossum, for playing me in this Bonanza, this R3 Bonanza. Uh, if you guys like to play me, just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get to each and every comment as soon as I possibly can. But hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you beautiful people in the next episode.